Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Logan Paul's end of 2018 uh, video. He he had a very uh, turbulent year. Let's just say that. Um, now he's he became one of the one of the biggest stars on YouTube uh, at the beginning of 2018. And then he went and made a mistake, uh, a big mistake. I mean, it was a bit more than a mistake. He went to Japan, filmed a dead body, and then edited and uploaded it. And at not no point in that time did he think like maybe I should have done it, and maybe I shouldn't have, shouldn't be doing that even. Um, he lost so many subscribers, and then he managed to find his way back by having. A YouTube boxing fight with uh, KSI so he managed to just about in the eyes of some redeem himself he did apologize for what he did but again I don't for me that that's not for, not forgivable I've suffered with mental health uh, bear in mind that this is somebody who had a family it was suicide forest in Japan and you go there filming you know that there is a chance that you're gonna find a dead body at which point you turn the camera off you go home you don't upload anything or you upload later on saying like this is what I experienced if you need help but he said that he was gonna try to raise awareness by going up and literally there was pointing the camera right at the dead guy's face now I think part of the problem was that he had quite a few yes men around him um, and people who wouldn't weren't like they weren't saying don't do this. They were pretty much just like, oh, you know, Logan's doing it, so we'll do it. Um, that was probably part of the problem, but he should have known better. Can you remember who you were before the world told you who you should be? No. So it starts off with a video, home video as a kid. Uh, quite a few home videos by the looks of it. I used to be a regular kid from Ohio. You know, I loved sports, I paid attention in school, and was always a bit awkward. But then when I was about 10 years old, I picked up a video camera and became Logan Paul. And your address? Butthead Street. Wow, you're a jerk. Don't call back again. <sighs> yup, I've always been a bit... Even as a kid, he was a bit of an idiot. He will, he will say a maverick. But he's an idiot. That's like, a troublemaker. No two ways about Fast it. Fast forward. So, what the fuck happened in 2018 that made the world quiver when they heard the words Logan Paul? Logan Paul. I can tell you what happened, Logan. You became a douche and so obsessed with the numbers that you forgot about being a decent human being. And slowly but surely, in my endless pursuit of more views and more subscribers, it was becoming clear that the vlog mentality was getting out of hand. But, I did not see that. Here's what I saw. Oh, mamma mia, take a look around. Oh, yo, it looks so good at night. Boy, just dropped 40K on a presidential Rolex. He's basically flexing on us. So how about that vehicle, though? What's in the bags? $11,600 worth of Gucci clothes. Bro, is this solid gold? Solid gold. $20,000, it's yours. That's Flexing. my boy. Exponentially, so was my ego. Yeah, boy, I'm the Maverick. Why you feeling hurt? Hey. The line for what was acceptable it became more and more foggy, and the disrespect began to skyrocket. And it's not that I felt the rules didn't apply to me. I knew they did. I just didn't care about the consequences if I broke them. I didn't even consider them. You can't stop, Logan. Logan. I wanted to entertain my audience every single day with out-of-this-world content and behavior that they could only find on Logan Paul Vlogs. Consequences were rarely even an afterthought. Logan, going to the top! Yeah! And not to mention, I was the 22-year-old, blonde-haired, blue-eyed kid from Ohio with 45 million followers on the internet. Every single day, my actions were validated by 5 to 7 million viewers, and as long as I wasn't doing any harm, no one was trying to stop me. Not my peers, not my family, not even members of my own team. And that's where the problem came in. Even his own team was just like, yeah, sure, go ahead and do whatever. You get stuck in this bubble where everything you do becomes okay. So, uh, I can't remember if it was Logan or Jake, but one of them climbed on top of a... 
a, a news a news truck and started trying to damage it basically because just because they could. That's where this whole mob mentality of like because he was allowed to get away with whatever he was even able to he thought he would even be able to go do what he did and have no repercussions obviously he did and then in december of 2017 i went to japan it was the perfect big storm move, of mistake. circumstance ignorance ego and downright stupidity the backlash against a social media star who posted video of an apparent suicide victim is intensifying. The video this viewed the over 6 million times in just 24 hours. And YouTube star Logan Paul is facing the fallout after posting a video that showed the body of an apparent suicide victim. And the backlash was massive. People and creators of all sizes denouncing Logan Paul and this video. Actor Aaron Paul saying Logan Paul go to hell. So many people sharing stories of people they lost due to suicide and some specific Hanging. I obviously as a person as a human being I was frustrated and pissed off and offended by his actions a hero for a lot of kids is to, to Logan fans and when I see that I I care so much <laughs> at the time where it happened there was a lot of people reacting to the video and there was a lot of people who were hurt by what Logan did and who the idea of somebody doing that was enough to make them break down on camera, off camera. Um, I remember True Geordie, um, he's a tough guy and even he had a full on breakdown. Um, and I thought he wanted to kill Logan Paul at one point. So that says just how much Logan's actions affected everybody on the platform. In less than 24 hours, I became the most hated person on the planet. I had made an inexcusable mistake, completely destroyed my image, lost every professional relationship that I had, became the internet's favorite meme, and most importantly, had my eyes opened wide to the consequences of my actions. About time. Finally, after nearly running the rest of my life into the ground, I received a blessing in disguise. You said before this fight, you had something planned. Is there anything you want to say to someone out there? Obviously, a man's got this belt right now. If any YouTuber wants it, you can come get it. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, any of the Pauls, I don't care. Bring it. Of course, if it wasn't for the whole Japan forest thing, this fight wouldn't have come about. Um, that This pretty much saved, so thanks to KSI, he pretty much saved Logan Paul's career there, otherwise Logan was done. He was, he was a goner. Gotten to exercise my creativity in different ways with the number one podcast in the world called Impulsive. A documentary about the Flat Earth, which is coming in January, and I'm hitting 2019 hard by releasing a show called Best Friends that I shot with Evan. So that's what the Flat Earth thing was about. He's doing a documentary. Ooh. Okay. Um, cannot wait for that. I may do a reaction to that, depending if I've got another video planned at that time. Podcast. So. He used the podcast to try to get at JJ by inviting JJ's brother, who he was beefing with on. I mean, in fairness, he's, he's pulled himself back. He's got himself, if it is the number one podcast in the world, then fair play. Um, he's he, he knows his mistakes that he's made. I wouldn't say I hate the guy, but... Not sure if he deserves a second chance after what he did, but he's getting one anyway. So let's see if he messes it up. I think if he messes it up this time, then that's it. He's a goner. The three biggest lessons you learned from this year. What's uh, the what's the one you shared? The one is slow down. It is the first thing that comes to my mind, and I can not point to that as the reason for what happened, the singular reason for what happened. But that is a that is huge. What would be lesson number two? The biggest lesson of the year. Lesson number two. Listen. Ooh. Listen in how in what way? Listen to the people around you. Listen to what they're saying. Listen to your audience. Listen to your friends. Listen to your family. 
You're not right about everything, old Logan. What would be the third one? Biggest lesson that you... Ironic about him saying about, listen, it would have helped had he had people around him who would have said, like, no, this is enough. Like, all there was, there was, in the forest video, one person said to Logan, like, let's cut up, turn off the cameras, and Logan just carried on, and then they said nothing else. He was surrounded by yes men, that was the problem. And if you're like me, and you're ever feeling low, like the weight of the world has been stacked on your shoulders, even if it is a fault of your own, just remember, it could always get worse, but it will always get better. Actually, that's a good lesson. Who knows? In fairness. 2018 might end up being the best year of my life, but I got a lot more to go. Peace! Okay, well, in... I mean, fair play. Um, that was actually quite a good documentary, I thought. Um, he actually admitted that he... What was it? And he actually he, he admitted his mistakes for starters. He knows where he's, he went wrong and he knows how to... Fi well, he knows how he's going to go about fixing it. Um, he admitted, he said to, to slow down, which was his main mistake. He was constantly on the go, like, oh, let's do this for a vlog, let's do this for a vlog. And he knows, I think he knows he needs less yes men around him because that is always going to be the problem. After watching that, actually, I would say he deserves a second chance. Um, before this, I was like, no, can't stand the guy. If you're going to do that, you, you've got to not be right in the head. But he has learned his lesson, I think, after watching that. Either that or he's just very good at manipulating his audience and saying what he wants. I mean, like, he would have to be ridiculously good. Um, so he went away. I mean, like he said, it's it's the biggest year of his life. It might not be... It definitely wasn't his best year. Like, it wasn't his finest year by any means. Apart from the fight bit where he was uh, in a build-up to the fight, obviously he was working on himself, so fair play to him for that. But for everything else for the first part of the year, he, he messed up so badly. Um, but, you know, when you're filming and uploading a video like he did, what do you expect? Really, I mean, it's it's going to affect so many people, and it did affect so many people. Um, so now he's managed to he's managed to pull it back. He's refraining from doing any vlogs like that. Now he's doing more where he's like focusing on. I'm guessing where he's focusing on himself. I don't know. Um, bungee jumping did look quite cool though. I'll give him that. So, um, I'm not going to be a subscriber of Logan Paul by any means. I'm not going to like any of his videos. I'm not going to watch many of his videos. I may do a reaction to his uh, Flat Earth video because I'm very intrigued uh, what that's going to entail. I'm always having a debate about Flat Earth with one of my friends, so very intrigued to say the least. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Um, please leave a like if you liked it, and let me know what you thought. Any feedback is welcome. Um, and until the next video, which will be on Sunday, I will see you then.